Hi guys, welcome to my class. I want you to observe the two pictures here. What did you notice? You're right. Both of them are moving. But did you know that one is a living thing and the other one is non-living thing? But how do you know which one is which? Which one is a living thing and which one is not? So today, we're going to discuss the different life processes or characteristics that differ a living from non-living things. This is Teacher Shirley. The objectives of our lesson today are to identify the different life processes and explain the importance of each life processes. But what is a life process? Life processes are the vital processes which are essential or necessary for organisms to stay alive. There are seven life processes. First, movement. Movement is a change position from one place to another. Humans and animals can change position or can easily move from one place to another, but did you know that plants can move too? Second, respiration. Respiration is the process of taking in of oxygen and releasing carbon dioxide to produce energy by breathing. Third is sensitivity. Sensitivity is the ability to respond to stimuli or changes in the environment using our senses. Like for example, if it is hot, we tend to sweat out. And if it is cold, we tend to shiver. Fourth is growth. Growth is the process of increasing in physical appearance such as size. Living things grow and become bigger. Reproduction. Reproduction is the process by which organism produces its offspring to ensure its continuity. Excretion. Excretion is the process of removing waste materials out of the body by peeing, pooping, breathing, or sweating out. Nutrition Nutrition is the process of taking in food necessary for growth and survival. These are the seven life processes. In order to remember that, remember Mrs. Cran. M. Movement R. Respiration S. Sensitivity G. Growth R. Reproduction E. Excretion and N. Nutrition These are the life processes. 